to have a grudge or start one with another person. Now, the real question here, is this real beef or is it just a laugh? <coughs> you decide. But you can also decide right now to like this video. 35 likes this time. Cheers lads. Robbie Nielsen's Funhouse. Let's have it. Did your team come out on top last night? Yes, they did. Have Dundee United spanked on Fenlon pretty much every single time they've played each other in the last two of years? Yes, I suppose they have. Although, there was that one time... <laughs> I'm going to milk that Ian for a long time. The cause of this beef might just be a few months old, but it's enough to bring it up right now. Although, I'm not looking for any fisticuffs here. Trust me, I'm shite in fights, so we can stick the boxing gloves back in the drawer and uh, just keep it to the mouths and maybe a bit of proof that I've got on you. <clears throat> I wonder if anyone actually thinks this is real. So, as I said, Robbie Nielsen's Funhouse. Number one. He couldn't go through with a Twitter name change without his followers having an outcry to try and change his name back immediately. L. Massive L there, mate. Was that L the wrong way around? Either one, L. And then last night, he went through with the indespicable. He nicked someone else's tweet when he was sharing my reaction to Dundee United's goal. And not only anyone's tweet, a fellow Dundee United fan. Shame on you. Turns out, the fan he nicked the tweet from was also a subscriber to the channel, so... Hey lads, watching this video, I think Matty let you off lightly in that situation there, Callum. But I suppose Funhouse is how you're more known online, so we'll stick to that for now. Last night you even tried to cling up to the fake news that you were going to give Matty credit for that tweet. No having that in. That, my friend, is fake news. I need the Donald Trump wig to make that even better. Now I've no doubt that you've got your many friends on Twitter that will come after me after I put this video out there. After all, he's all ganged up on poor old Jim Spence and got him to block you in the end last year. Hashtag Team Funhouse was the match that you went with with that one, but you seem to be turning folk about toxic. However, never forget to hashtag it. Do not forget to hashtag it. <coughs> Taz Weller on Twitter was probably another one of your hashtag Team Funhouse in that situation, but whether they were joking or not in this tweet, they've got it spot on. You're a bad influence, Funhouse, and I'm here to catch you off guard with beef that you weren't expecting at all. Just to get this in, by the way, you've got that absolute spice boy, Jamie Robson. For our SC member, Jamie Robson, you've got him in your squad. So, just let that in sink in. Absolute roaster. But, he's one of your own. Boz. This beef then, this beef that I've started that I intend to carry on no further than this video alone Cause really, I'm simply just no fooling anyone I mean, check the muscles on that I've not got any more fighting looks than that Adobe block for Harry Potter The mouth is my only asset in this sort of situation So perhaps, Funhouse, you might come across harder characters in your life And this is maybe just a wee stepping stone that you needed More stronger characters in your life 100% you'll come across stronger guys than me. You just needed a telling. Sharing me all over social media. I'm a wee meme to you. Last word, gutted? Nah. Last word, fraud. And if you've got any wits about you, you'll ken what's coming next. <coughs> fraud FC, Robbie Nielsen's Funhouse included. Feel privileged, Callum, Funhouse, however you'd like to be named. Consider it a massive honour.